So, welcome to the second video of the Mitsubishi Coolant 1969 build series. It's been a while since I made the last one, and I'm sure some people are probably wondering, hey, what the heck happened to this model? Well, don't worry, Pamela. I'll do my scientific best to command your fleet. So, actually, the, the main reason why I was holding off... Well, well first of all, I always interrupt myself, but that's okay. I interrupt other people, too, so that's why people don't like talking to me. Um, I'm still not satisfied with this. It's like... I lived in Arizona, and I never had to deal with so much dust. And I don't, that doesn't make sense. I don't know where this dust is coming from. So, I'm going to try to do this yet one more time to get a better finish on this. But, just so much dust is flying around. I need to clear this up or something. I don't know if the dust is coming off this. Or what? And this is just powder though. This is this is just powder. I don't know where the dust is coming from. But I want to make this smooth. I don't know. I want to I try my best with that. So the sides here are great. But here, dust has settled on, on here for some reason. And I don't like it. Okay. So, the main reason why I didn't really do anything for quite a while, um, you know, I, I have these parts that I need to chrome. And I soaked them in Coca-Cola, and as you can see, they look great. The thing is, is that I needed to wait around until I had one of these. So, um, I did a video of uh, when I first bought this. And uh, I still have not yet used my airbrush. Um, I got this like in September, and now it's like, what, December 6th or something like that? December 5th? I can't remember. And I still haven't used this yet. But I will. I swear. Gosh. Um, so, yeah. First, though, I need to prime. Prime. <laughs> Sorry. I think, what, Jim Cullen did both the voice for Optimus Prime and Ironhide, I think, in the Transformers cartoon. So, anyhow, um, I talk nonsense, and people who watch these videos are probably like, dude, this Steve the Fish guy is like a total spurg. Uh, he just spouts nonsense. Well, I am full of obscure references to stupid crap, I guess, so, um... Yeah, another reason why people don't like talking to me. So, I'm going to prime this. And then, the second part, I need to do uh, gloss black. So this is Mr. Color Spray. I have this left over. I hardly use this at all, actually. Um, so, to do the chroming, you have to do uh, gloss black base first. Then... Here is Alclad 2 lacquer chrome. So they say that this is the best chrome. And I had my friend who came to visit me in September. I had him buy some of this stuff off of eBay because it's, it's kind of hard to find in in Japan. Now here in Shizuoka, there's a company. Um, Platts that supposedly sells this, but I don't know. I'd have to contact them directly or something. They don't have an actual website where I can order directly from them. So anyhow, I had my friends send this or uh, bring this with him. So they say that this is the best. Now I hope so, and it it goes straight into the airbrush. You don't even have to thin it or anything. I went ahead and got this, too. This is Mr. Color. Oh, it's got a sticker on there still. This is the Mr. Color Super Metallic. This is Chrome. This is Mr. Color's version. Now they say that it's not as good. This is Chrome Silver. They say it's not as good as the L-Clad. I don't know. Now, the reason I bought this... is Hopefully, you know, I'm because I need to do... What I need to do is paint Chrome here, like on the... Um, the door handles and such. Hopefully that's that's going to work out just fine. Um, this seems to be 
just as liquid though as this. I don't know if I can paint brush this on or not. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this feeds directly into the airbrush without thinning like this because it seems to be pretty watery. Maybe this purchase is fairly redundant in that case. I don't know. I'm not I'm not at that point yet though. So Maybe I can get rid of this box. I don't need this box anymore. So, um, first things first. Let's prime this stuff. I got my, uh, my, my, uh, spray booth ready. So it's December, but it's not too cold. Whoa! It's not too cold at all to have windows open, so it'll be a nice day. It's fairly warm. You have uh, Mount Fuji out my window here. So, yeah, it'll be a nice day to do some painting. Yeah. Stay tuned. It seems like whenever I'm, I set out to do something, something else always comes up. Um, now, these are the rearview mirrors you're looking at. Let's get these dumb dimples in the middle here. I'm going to have to putty these. Just put a little dab of putty in each of that and sand them down. Stupid. Just one more thing I have to take care of before I, I prime these parts. Yeah. Okay, it is now January, and I have primed and painted the, these black parts, the chrome parts, with Mr. Hobby number two, gloss black. Now, as I've learned, uh, you may have seen in other videos, I'm not too happy with the way this is uh, that this goes on. Um, I went ahead and went over these with three coats to make sure that they were nice and super glossy because after the first coat it was not enough. I imagine that if this was a Tamiya I wouldn't have a problem but Mr. Color Spray not not too big of a fan but I had it on hand and that's what I used. So these are ready to have the Alkalide 2 lacquer chrome airbrushed on them. As for this, they're still... it's not totally smooth. I still cannot understand why I get dust. Um, I mean, just looking now, I don't see dust flying around, but this just kind of seems to magically appear. So, before I do a clear coat on this... Oh, actually, I'll have to just lightly brush uh, some silver on these these logos here before proceeding with a, with a clear coat. But, what I want to do... My last... My recent trip to Yorobashi Camera in Akihabara, I got a couple of these. This is Mr. Lapros polishing cloths. This is 2400 grit, 4000 grit, 6000 grit, and lastly 8000 grit. It's, it should be really good for the surface of cars. What I want to do is uh, go over this with these and then after I do the clear coat I might have to go over this again, or maybe use a polishing compound. So, um, let's try this out. Okay, so let's start with 2400. So there's two of them in here. 4000 and 2400. So, what does this say? Yeah, you can use this on clear parts as well, it says. So, uh, let's just uh, use a little area here, see how this, how this works. Just kind of, kind of go over where there's, uh, the paint is a little bit uneven due to some specs. Oh, here's a really big dust strand here. Let's go over this just enough 
to get rid of that and make it smooth. This is my first time using this, so bear with me. Um, I think there was one here. Yeah, here's some dust already on this thing. Jeez. Yeah, there's another spot here on the hood. That's yeah, coming off here on the cloth here. I don't know if I can rinse this out or not, or I don't know if it's reusable or not. So, um, yeah, let me go over this. Okay, I have buffed the offending areas. I believe it should be smooth now. So, you can see the results. Got some yellow paint on the cloth here. Now I'm going to graduate up to the 4,000. Okay, now I'm going to work my way up to the 6,000 grit. really smooth. Okay, here we go with 6,000. Okay, I believe I'm satisfied with uh, going over this enough with a 6,000 grit. So, lastly, it's going to be 8,000. Super, super smooth. Very, very smooth. So, here we go. Huh. I feel like I should be doing this like wet sanding or something. I can't imagine how this is different from wet sanding, but this is super, super smooth. Although it's not shiny, though. I guess. Uh, see, I, I'm not really sure how, to, how this really works. I'm new to this. It, it, it feels smooth, but it's not glossy anymore. It's dull. And with this 8000, I don't know. I, th I imagine I would definitely need to go over this. Um, you know, for, of course, do a clear coat. I don't know if rubbing a clear coat with this would uh, diminish its its uh, shininess. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm hoping that if I go over this, um, you know, give it a clear coat, that the the clear coat won't really matter. Uh, it will not show the um, the the dull areas. I'm hoping. We shall see. Hmm. Well, I've gone over this enough. I can just imagine that um, I would apply the gloss coat and hope for the best. We'll see. Alright, this will be my first time using Alclad 2 lacquer chrome. Never used this before ever. I've shaken it up very well, I think. And it should be ready to go. So as I mentioned before, uh, I may have mentioned that uh, you do not need to thin this. It's not necessary to thin it at all. So. Just load it into the air the airbrush and go. So let me turn on the airbrush. And don my mask. Kind of nervous because this is my first time, but we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna just do one part here and see how, how it works. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh crap.
It was bound to happen anyways. All right, here we go. Okay, so I still have a bit of paint in there. I just did a little bit. The appearance so far is very cool. I am amazed. This is, this is pretty cool looking. So, what I want to do is put a little plastic glove on. And by little, I mean really a little. Once I can find some uh, large size, but uh, these are okay. But you see, I got like the frog hands going on here. Anyhow, so uh, just let this sit here for a bit, and uh, let's apply some more paint. Now I don't want to overspray it, but uh, it's looking pretty cool. Just slowly kind of work my way into it. Looking pretty cool. So yeah, this is unlike any uh, model paint that I've seen before, that's for sure. Very, very, very cool. I'm curious to see what the, uh, the Mr. Hobby Super Metallic, how that compares to this. But so far, this is pretty freaking cool looking. And that very, very cool. Now, this looks like real metal. Totally unlike that uh, shiny plastic, you know, gaudy crap. This is uh, looking pretty awesome. Let's, uh, let's do the stuff this way. No hubcaps. Okay, I am done, I think. I don't think it's uh, in any further coats is going to really make any difference. This is super shiny, super nice, and it is to scale, that's most importantly. Now it's not, you know, it doesn't have quite the luster as, as, the, as it was before the chrome was stripped. However, this is more to scale for, you know, if you're going to look at a car from a distance, I suppose, instead of like right up close. So you can see the light catching on there. It's super shiny, super nice. Now I spilled some here on my on my desk here, and I noticed that the paint just kind of shimmered. It just kind of sparkled, and it was like it was kind of weird and animated looking. It's really interesting. Um, so yeah, this is quite a bit different than typical silver paint. That's for sure. This is definitely chrome, and these hubcaps look like real hubcaps. Very cool. Very nice. So I am done. Um, I'll glad too. Nice. Mr. Hobby Super Metallic. We'll have to try this another time. But uh, very happy. I used about half the bottle here. And no, not, not quite. Maybe like uh, a third. But um, I have another bottle. So that'll enough to last me for a while. So, neat stuff. I think I might end this video here and uh, just
just go ahead and upload it and just to show you. So, thanks for watching.